Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be about uh, uh, seeds, uh, basically uh, grow, uh, seeds for growing food, uh, seeds for permaculture, and uh, uh, all other kinds of different seeds, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit about how to keep your seeds, uh, where to get your seeds, and basically some of the seeds that I've got um, for growing here on my, on my porch. Not only that, but some stuff I bought for the property that I just got here. Now, uh, one of the, the main things is that uh, you want to make sure your seeds are dry. Now, it's kind of stupid me being here right now because it's a crappy day. Uh, it's been looking like it's been wanting to rain all day. I hear some lightning off in the distance and some thunder, but um, I probably shouldn't have it out here because of the moisture, but I'm wanting to make the video today, so no better time than the present. Um, now these two containers right here are full of seeds and I keep these in my freezer um, and the reason why is because I've had them for a while um, I'm going to go through some of the seeds in here but basically I've got everything from cucumbers, wildflowers, um, different types of grain, um, tomatoes, maybe 30 40 different kinds of tomatoes, uh, <coughs> onions, lots of wild varieties, lots of stuff that is low maintenance. Um, any types of plants that you guys spend a lot of time with and pruning and taking care of and I don't consider that more efficient. I think it's easier to get cherry tomatoes and um, let nature kind of take care of everything and uh, main reason why I cherry tomatoes is because they're more abundant. Um, you get a lot more tomatoes a lot more pounds per plant uh, versus let's say Rutgers tomatoes where you only get uh, a couple really big ones, or beef steak tomatoes, maybe get a couple really big ones. Now, the reason why those wouldn't do good in nature because they're so big, you got to pop the plants up, um, they require lots of water, fertilizer, um, just to get the big tomatoes like that. But uh, tomatoes that are grown in the wild, without people, they're like they're like cherry tomatoes. They're little tiny, little currant-like tomatoes. So I got a lot of those. I got a lot of lettuces, wild lettuces, um, peppers. Um, Simpson seeded green. So now I've had these seeds here for a while. The ones in the containers, I've had those for a long time. And um, the bigger stuff I'm going to talk about. I've got uh, I've got about three 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 point eight acres um, that I want to do the whole thing edible. And um, I'm not going to till it. Um, I'm going to probably put terraces in. The, the, the property is pretty sloping. It's got a creek that runs through the back of it. Um, it's more of like a like a rectangle. It's it's a long property, back of the property. Uh, it's got a creek running through it, and there's lots of hills, so I want to do terraces. Um, it used to be wooded, but it was partially logged. Uh, they went in there and took out all the big trees and left kind of all the crooked trees. Oh, they still left some nice trees, but there's a lot of maples in there. There's a lot of hardwoods, a um, few pines, but not very many. Um, and it's in North Carolina. So now I've got this really red clay red clay type dirt. Um, I see a lot of people growing stuff up there. There's a lot of vineyards and wineries and stuff like that. A lot of people growing grapes and uh, stuff like that. And, you know, there's a lot of farms around there. So obviously, there isn't too many problems with the soil. But, you know, me being from the Midwest, the, the red doesn't look normal. Black is what dirt looks like, you know. So, um, But these are the, the seeds I've got for that property. You know, we got about maybe, I don't know, 30 pounds of seeds. Um, I've got soy, um, and the way what I plan on doing with a lot of these seeds is just kind of throwing them out, letting them kind of grow wherever they're going to grow. Um, rather than having to plant things manually and water them and cater to them, um, if it's not a right right spot for something to grow, it shouldn't grow there. Something else should grow there. Um, so wherever wherever the little niche where these are going to go, I'm just going to throw them all out wherever they lay, wherever they grow. Great, and I hopefully plan on harvesting a lot of it, but a lot of it I'm going to use to just reseed and use as green manure, uh, where basically I'm going to cut a lot of it back eventually and just lay that down as mulch, uh, which is what permaculture is basically all about. Um, so I've got a lot of beans, and the reason a lot of beans is because they're nitrogen fixers. They um, they accumulate nitrogen uh, through the atmosphere and also through the, through the dirt and contribute that to the plants around it. And they store it in little modules, little crystals that are attached to the roots, store those in the dirt. Um, so a lot of legumes, a lot of peas, a lot of beans, um, clover. I got, um, I don't even know if I'm spelling this right, ashnomene. 
Um, basically, it's a type of vetch, and uh, her vetch is really, really good because also it's a, it's a nitrogen fixer. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I got that. Um, uh, Bursine clover, I got some of that. Got a pound of that. Uh, now, this is also, I got some really interesting stuff here. I got daikon radishes. I got a pound of those. Um, so that's what those look like. Pretty big seeds. I'm sure you guys are all wondering where I got them all from. Um, now, the, these big seeds I got in bulk. Unfortunately, I got them online. I got them on eBay. Um, some people were like, no, 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 don't buy stuff from eBay. GMO, non organic, and whatnot. Um, but it was really the only place I could find bulk. And I don't know necessarily if I know if I'm going to be eating a lot of the stuff. I mean, I don't know. I tried to get natural stuff that didn't say it was chemically treated, and I asked the guy a lot of questions about stuff. But I think I did get some that had some fertilizers in it. I'm going to show you here in a second. You guys got to tell me. Um, dwarf Siberian kale. I got a pound of that. Now, I know that the kale and a lot of the greens, microgreens, are good for sprouting, uh, using for vegetables and salads and just eating just like that. A lot of vegetarians like that stuff. Uh, purple top turnips. I got a pound of those. Mustard greens, Florida broadleaf, pound of those. Trucker's favorite white corn, pound of those. Uh, mung beans, two pounds of mung beans. Kentucky Wonder Pole beans, got a uh, pound of those. Uh, Buckley. Got two pounds of buckwheat. And it says, I mean, yeah, pure seeds. You know, one of my clovers does say it's treated with some type of pre coated L, all vantage, um, I don't know, something. I'm worried about this airleaf clover. I don't even know if I'm going to use this or not, just because it's been coated and treated. No matter what, it's not good, no matter how you look at it. And uh, Lab Lab. Lab Lab beans. Got some of those too. So, not to mention those, I got a couple pounds of this pea patch, where it's basically a bunch of peas and beans mixed together, also with sunflower seeds. And I got five pounds of those, four pounds, because I already knew a pound of those. So I'm planning on taking all these and just throwing them out everywhere. Kind of, uh, I will be probably sticking some in the ground just to make sure. But I want a lot of it to grow naturally. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to starting doing videos on the property up there here pretty soon. And, uh, we'll be going up there here next couple of videos. Probably next video we'll probably be up there. So, uh, so see, these are some of the seeds that I've got. Um, the ones in the box I don't keep in the freezer. Um, I just recently got these, and I keep them in a cool, dry place where they're not going to get wet. Uh, they're not going to get in the hot, too hot. They're not in the sun. Um, I actually keep them in the cupboard, the bottom floor of the cupboard. And, uh, kind of where I keep potatoes and stuff like that, potatoes and onions and everything, so I plan on getting rid of these here pretty soon, next couple weeks. Now the ones I've had for a while, a lot of my heirloom variety stuff I keep in the freezer, and um, I just can't wait to start putting all those back in there, but um, thanks for watching, this one's about my seeds, uh, the seed collection that I have, and what's that collection, but seeds I plan on planting, and um, before I go, actually this is another one, this is the WMS Brassica Blend. And it's by Wildlife Management Solutions. Now, when I ordered the stuff, it didn't have this damn tag on there about seed coat being uh, coated with Delt Ag, improving plant performance. Well, nature does a better job than anybody else could. So, and anything that you put in there, it's, I mean, it's a company. They're trying to make money. So, you know, if everything's great. And, um, you only need to do it once, they wouldn't make any money, obviously. Um, now, I did some research on it, and it said that it's like some type of heavy metals, like magnesium, um, phosphate, a couple other types of things. I don't know, I've heard bad things about heavy metals. They always stay in the soil. Yeah, they might help the plants, but eventually, in the end, they actually pollute it. They don't allow certain other types of plants to grow. Um, and not to mention, they don't... They stay in the soil, or they wash down back in the water system. I don't know if I even want to have nothing to do with this. Now, it says not to not to soak them in water first and i think that's because they said basically to just start planting them 
I think that's because of the coating, the powder coating on it. I haven't opened it up yet. I don't know what they look like, but uh, I think if I am going to use them, I'm going to soak them in water, maybe dispose of the water properly, and, and uh, without having to waste, I don't even know, what, 30 pounds of seeds, I think. That's a lot. That's all turnips, kale, um, ripe, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with an update on our little gorilla garden that we got going uh, across the street. Thanks so much.